Hello, and welcome to the School of Lotti. My name is Sam Osborne, and I'm going to be your teacher today. And in this class, we're going to be covering everything to do with interactions and Lotti animations. In this class specifically, we're going to be getting set up with two different dependencies, Lotti Interactive and Lotti Interactivity. Lotti Interactivity is a library developed by Lotti Files, which allows different types of interactions, mostly based around scrolling on the web page and the cursor position. Lotti Interactive was developed by myself and allows to play animations based on clicking, hovering, something called morphing, and playing an animation when it appears on the web page. In this session, we're going to be set up with our two different dependencies inside of our web page, which you can find in the description box below, so that you can follow along throughout the whole course. We're going to get started with a solid foundation so that we have something to build upon throughout these different lessons where we integrate more and more different types of interactions. If that sounds good to you and you want to be notified when the rest of these videos release, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow the socials in the description box below. Class is now in session, let's get started. Over the course of the next few lessons, this is the website we're going to be filling out with lots of different Lottie animations and integrations. This is a website I made with Bootstrap and I tried to integrate as many real life interactions as possible. So here this animation is playing on click. I've integrated a toggle animation. So you could use this for example as a light and dark mode for the website. And that's using the switch interaction. And then if you look down at this purple banner and when I scroll down, it will start playing the animation. So that's play on show. And here we're going to have a lighthouse synced up to the scrolling of the web page. As you can see, that's looking quite nice. And then here I just listed a few more of them, a few more different interactions. Um, so here we have on click, playing on hover, something called morphing, uh, which I'll go into more detail in because you need to create a special animation for this type of interaction and that's morphing and this is morph click so it's locking the end of the animation when we click on it and here we're going to link up the animation to the horizontal movement of the cursor so as you can see as we move the cursor over it it opens and closes the blueprint so this is school of lotti so it's a basic website built in bootstrap and this is our foundation. So if you open up the GitHub repository in the description, uh, you can start at lesson zero if you want to. In this lesson, we're just going to be adding our dependencies, our style sheets, and setting up the web page. Because for the moment, uh, we don't have any CSS or dependencies integrated for the moment. So that's why our website looks like this. So heading into the code, you can go up to the top of the index.html file that you can find, find at the root of the lesson 00 directory. So open that up and let's start including some style sheets. So these are the ones that I created um, just to style the web page. Actually, let's include bootstrap. Uh, bootstrap min, there we go, and yeah, so bootstrap is included in the CSS folder, and then let's just add widgets and front page as well. So there's front page, and widgets.css. There we go. I've added some Google fonts, so you don't have to worry about those, just leave them there. And, oh yeah, we can't have Bootstrap. They're not part of Bootstrap. There we go. And this is the HTML, which we're gonna be filling out later on. But for the moment, let's scroll down to the scripts. And let's add some more Bootstrap code. So 
Uh, the local JavaScript for Bootstrap is in JS and then under Bootstrap and the bundle. So let's just do, uh, do, 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 do JS Bootstrap Bootstrap bundle.js and let's just add a type text JavaScript and here we're going to include our Lottie libraries. So we're going to need Lottie Interactive and Lottie Interactivity. So for Lottie Interactive, I'm just going to type uh, Lottie Interactive npm, uh, find the package, and then just grab this little bit of code. So we're going to include that. And as you can see, basically our Lottie Interactive library is hosted here at this URL. And using this script tag is going to go and fetch it. And because we're using a static website, this will work just fine. So let's do that. And that's Lottie Interactive. And then Lottie Interactivity. So Lottie Interactivity was made by Lottie Files. And first of all, you're going to need the web player. So under code uh, web player, let's grab the player code. And there we go, paste that there. So that's Lottie player, you can see here, lottieplayer.js. And for the interactivity, part of it, we're going to have to get a, another library, which is under code and then interactivity guide and getting started HTML DOM. There we go. Lottie. Oh no, not that. Via CDN. There we go. Let's just grab Lottie interactivity, paste it there. And because this video is for setting up the web page, uh, let's start, even if it's empty for the moment, let's just add our own code uh, file. So JS interactions.js. Later on, we're going to be putting the necessary code inside this file to make Lottie interactivity work to get the uh, synced up scrolling interaction working and the horizontal cursor. So once again, just text JavaScript and then SRC JS interactions.js. And that should be good. So now we should have a basic uh, format of the web page. So that's looking broken, but it's just because it's missing the animations, which we'll be doing over the course of the next few lessons. But that's good, that's how to get started. This is our foundation of our website. Let's get adding some interactions. Class for today is now over. If you would like to be notified when the rest of the class is released, subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel and check out my socials in the description box below. All right, have a good day and see you in the next class.